So let's talk a little bit about the, the learning and growing part of this yeah. because there's what I like to call successful failures where sometimes you do something yeah. that maybe wasn't the way you wanted, but it sparks something. You learn, yeah. you go in a new direction. It's another door opening. Do you have any good stories for us on that? Uh, when I s started, I've always, I love chicken, like barbecue, competition style chicken is one of my favorite things to eat. Mm -hmm. uh, I sucked at it. it I, I couldn't <laughs> get it right. The skin was just like a rubber band that you can fire away. And, and it got to that point where I decided to invite a couple of my friends over, good pit masters, and I said, okay, try this and tell me what I did wrong. And it was horrible. It was it was actually almost inedible. And I really <laughs> put a lot of, and I looked at YouTube, I looked at different recipes, and I just couldn't figure it out. So mm -hmm. by sh al allowing them, and, and when I, they tried it, and they were honest, they say it tasted like crap, uh, but they were very eager to help and give pointers. Mm -hmm. So nowadays, I'm not saying that I have award-winning chicken thighs, but it's pretty good. I can live with it. And I've tried some really good chickens as a judge so mm -hmm. I know and I it's it's getting there but I think the the failure in that was to show people and ask for help that mm -hmm. I, I can't cook this can you help me and I think the barbecue community is willing to step up and help they're yeah. great people mostly. I've seen that happen in competitions yeah. I've seen a pit master have an emergency and not be able to yeah. show up or somebody on his team and I've yeah. watched guys from other teams walk over and just start yeah. helping and get their turn new in teams in that's and trying things for the first time and you can almost immediately see a couple of more experienced team definitely showing up helping out mm -hmm. and I think that's that's what makes the barbecue community so special you compete but you're also friends and um, you're and you're always mentoring and growing yeah, together which yeah. is really nicely yeah, it is yeah well I know we're blessed to have you in our barbecue community no I'm I'm happy to be be like I said I'm happy to be a part of it I I love barbecue I love grilling I love the whole idea of there's something magical happen when you go outside and you have a fire going you see you have the smell and the smoke and the aromas and you have good friends around you have maybe a couple of beers mm -hmm. uh, but that that sort of community and joy and, and and get together it's it's hard to find in in in, in other ways so oh, absolutely so i like the social aspects of so it. you spread